Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the 34th Pi Game Tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be doing is uh, continuing to build on our little intro screen here. So, in order to make uh, press C to play or Q to quit functionality to actually work, we have to handle it just like we had handled it uh, before. So we need like a, a for event loop, basically. So what we have first is while intro. Then what we need is um, for event in pi game dot event dot get empty parameters if event dot type equals a pi game dot all caps quit event what do we want to do pi game dot quit and then also just a straight up quit command so what do we what what's happening here so this is if the user clicks on the x again so like the x is out of the window that's a quit event without this they can bang on that x all they want and they're stuck in your game so if you want to make like a really viral game that everyone plays um, forget about the quit event just don't let them quit um, that's a really surefire way uh, to get your game to be really addictive next we have if event dot type equals a pi game die uh, key down so if they've pressed a key we're kind of curious what they pressed and if event dot key equals pi game dot uh, the key of C so if they press the C key um, now intro intro equals false and this while intro loop will cease to run so that's everything in it the the intro function will be complete so that's what we want to do so they want to play now if event dot key equals pi game dot k underscore q that means they wanted to quit so we want to run a pi game dot quit and a quit and that will let them actually quit uh, the game Finally, we've got the fill here, and then down here we actually have the tick. We've got update, and then we find, we call it game intro uh, down near the bottom. So now what we want to do is, let's clean this up, and let's go ahead and run this. And we've got this welcome to slither, all that. The objective of the game is to eat apples, blah, 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 push C to play, or Q to quit, okay? So you can press C, and we can play our game. Awesome. Oh my goodness, this is the best game I think I've ever played. This is just fantastic. Um, now of course we notice that we're a little unhappy with our apples still. And we've got game over, press C to play again, to quit. Now let's just go ahead and check uh, one last time uh, login thing here, or the intro screen. Well, let's press Q to quit real quick, and make sure that works, all set. And finally we want to make sure that our actual Xing out works, and that works as well. So now we have this game intro, and that's just going to run one time. It runs all of these messages to the screen, updates them, the clock ticks, and all of that. Now, I will just say, we don't necessarily, I mean, this doesn't have to run at 15 frames a second. So a lot of like intro screens, um, especially because like an intro screen sometimes might have like a really epic picture on it or something like that. Um, you may not want to run the intro screen at 15 frames a second. So, like, if the intro screen is, like, static, you really only need, like, 4 frames a second or 5 frames a second or something like that, just enough to handle, you know, a quick enough reaction to where, like, if someone clicks play, it's going to play. Or if someone clicks exit, it's going to exit without waiting, like, a half a second or something. But even, like, 1 frame a second... Um, might not even be noticeable, but yeah, I mean, if you're if you're displaying, say, a really large background image or something like that, um, you might want to consider lowering the frames per second. But also, as I was saying before, at like probably like the, one of the first videos, you've got dis pi game dot display dot update, and you've got flip. Flip does the whole thing. Update can do just tiny parts, so you can set up multiple surfaces and only update a specific surface, um, and all that. But anyway, enough on that. So our game is looking pretty good now. I mean, the only thing that I really want to have us do, um, well, we've got a, just a couple of aesthetic things at this point. We've got the logo here, which it just so happens that that's a, that's a snake because it's Pi Game, uh, and the Pi Game logo is a snake. Um, I'm not going to let that slide, though. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to change that icon just to be a good, good guy Greg here. Um, 
but we want to change that and then we want to we want an apple so I'll show you guys how we can incorporate the apple chances are you might be able to figure it out on your own so I encourage you guys to maybe try to see if you can make this red block an apple instead um, but if you can't uh, just check out the next video and you will find out how so as always thanks for watching